What's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are doing good. I'll be going for Atlanta today. Um, really don't like the Patriots. Sorry about that. But I uh, hope Atlanta wins this one. But most importantly, I hope it's a uh, good game, a really good game, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, my tank is doing good. Uh, still a pretty new tank, relatively new. You know, in the 180, I'm liking the 180. I like that I have so much room in the 180. It's a, a six footer. But uh, the problem that I was talking about to my LFS is that I go through so much auto top off water. And I guess it's because my tank is in the kitchen. I'm going through a little under 10 gallons a week. I bought a 20 gallon high from uh, Petco. It was the dollar per gallon going on. And the reason I bought it is because I go through so much auto top off water. That's not even funny. So I can't imagine having like a 300, uh, a, that size tank because these dudes probably go through a whole brute uh, trash can container full of RLDI water. I guess that's just some of the problems of having a big boy tank. Other than that, I'm loving it. Um, no complaints there. I'm still working on my lights. Um, I have been talking to the uh, wife about getting some new lights. Like I said, she said I could get some uh, Radeons. But uh, you know what? I'm just not about to drop a, a down payment on a car for some radions. You know what I'm saying? Now, in the end, I was talking to Pelfrey and I was talking to him about some lights. You know, in the end, it doesn't matter what kind of lights you have as long as you get the uh, color out of your coral that you want. Um, this is what it's all about. For me, it's all about the uh, coral. You know, you can get some cheap lights and just have a fish system. And the fish are still going to look cool. But you can get some lights like these. The reef breeders more than capable of growing coral, as you can see. And they're doing good. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I am committed. And I'm going to go ahead and purchase a Photon uh, version 2 from reef breeders. But the 24-inch. Uh, and that, that'll fill, that should fill in the gap uh, really nice. But... Um, that's enough about the lights. I want to show you something on the uh, green Montipora on the, the uh, corner. The uh, flow was so high, it was hitting it, and it kind of damaged that Montipora right there. Um, so that's why it was kind of uh, growing some mess on there. But the rest of my sticks are doing good. Um, right now, what I have is the flow off minus the return pump. The return pump is the only thing on. But the uh, two RW15s and the gyre are uh, turned off right now. But my frags are doing good. I have started just gluing them into the rock. I'm going to show you in this video how I did it. I was just waiting for some super glue to get here. And I finally got some. Um, before that, you know, I was getting my super glue from uh, Home Depot. And I do got to say for it being so cheap there, it does work okay. Um, the problem is it just didn't uh, really set fast enough for me but uh i'm gonna these are just some of the zoas that i have you know I'm, i have them here you know i frag them i just put them there to grow and uh, eventually become a coral hoarder you know some people like to have cats and newspapers and stuff like that i like to have coral and uh i just chop them up and put them on plugs and eventually uh i'll trade them or i'll sell them or something but really they don't really bother me. I, I like looking at them and growing them out to be honest. And I guess the reason why is because you start off like with one little polyp, glue them onto that plug and then you got multiple polyps popping out and it's just part of the love for the hobby I guess. Not only that but if uh, you happen to do a frag, give one away to your buddy and your tank gets messed up or something happens to that coral, you know, you got the hookup again. You know, when D's tank broke, he had given me some of his chalice. Uh, and I had a frag my chalice that he gave me, and he had it again. So there you go. Um, another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change out my uh, T5 bulbs finally. I only have room for two bulbs. So the bulbs that I'm going to go with are ATI. I was going to run both Coral Plus, and I really had a lot of success with the Coral Plus, but... I'm going to run one Coral Plus and one ATI Blue Plus, and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. 
Um, I know it's just going to be positive. It's just going to be like a little bit of a mix of the uh, color of the spectrum. Um, some people think that the Coral Plus looks too uh, white, but for me, it's, it's like a nice, uh, nice blend of white and blue together. Now, as far as fish go, I haven't got any. I do still plan on getting a couple. I'm not going to go crazy with the fish. The more fish you have, yeah, you may get more nitrates and things like that. But um, I still want to add some some big boys. I want to get some tangs, a uh, powder brown at least, or a powder blue, and uh, maybe a purple dotty back, um, maybe a couple of little fish. Uh, but the reason why I haven't gone with the uh, fire fish, which I do want still, is because I need to get a screen. Um, I need to buy some new screen. I know some people throw a crate. If you guys remember, I did have a, a plexiglass on top. But I took it down just because it was a, more of a nuisance for me because I couldn't stick my hands in the tank right away. Now I did finally get some uh, super glue. I picked up some BSI IC gel super glue. You know, it says insta cure. It does. It's not like instantly cured, but it does work. Um, and I, I like this because it comes with uh, multiple tips. And I did a contest a few months ago where I was uh, mailing this stuff out and that went pretty good now speaking of a crate uh, this is actually called light diffuser for any of you guys who are new to the channel you can pick this stuff up at home depot sometimes you can pick this up at lowe's sometimes or you can pick this up on online for a little bit more money but uh, online they have black so it's pretty cool but anyways i had some of this stuff laying around it's a uh, full length right there as you can see and it's partially exposed and partially underwater. And the reason why I did that is to glue uh, my frag plugs, my corals onto the frag plugs. And the reason why is because have you ever tried to uh, glue a big piece of, of a coral onto a tiny little frag standing up? The thing just keeps on flipping over. So what I did is uh, let it set and cure underneath the uh, water. Um, the reason why is because under salt water, the uh, glue is just hardens a lot quicker and uh, it makes life a lot easier for me. Um, I, I just put it on there, glue it, and just walk away. And I don't have to worry about standing around waiting for this stuff to uh, cure. I did the same thing for some of these LPS. Uh, this is the glue that I use again, BSI. That cheap stuff works really good. Um, and it'll probably work better now that I'm doing like this. But uh, before, I would just put a little tiny bit underneath um, the frag. Actually, I would put a whole lot underneath the flat frag, put it on the rock, and then the damn thing would sick for a little bit, and then it would fall off right away. Um, also, I've been using these little uh, girl gloves for dishes, and they work great. You know, cranberry is my color. Works good for me, looks good on me, and uh, keeps my hands from uh, getting all chewed up from the salt, guys. Now, as you can see... You just put that glue around the frag and let it sit, set it, and forget it. I want to close out this video, but I want to say thank you to you all. Um, also, Blue Tide Acrylics sent me a new frag rack um, posted on Instagram. It's a 12-hole frag rack. And what I like about this thing is uh, it was free for one. Two, it looks good. And three, it's not an egg crate. I have a whole bunch of frag racks that are egg crate. And eventually, I want to go to some... Uh, nicer frag racks. Well guys, hope you guys have a good one. Make sure you like and subscribe. Enjoy the game and have a good one. Take care guys.